Hello friend, today I'm making brownies with my mother, so please stick around. Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is my channel, Whatcha Theory. Here, I make videos about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So if that sounds good to you, or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos three times a week. Did I miss that? No, that's fine. And I'd love for you to uh, follow my journey here. Uh, this is a special occasion because I am back in Pennsylvania with my mother and she's going to teach us how to make oh, keto bean brownies. That sounds great. It is good, they're delicious. <laughs> so let's get started. What do we have to do first? Do we have to set the, uh, the oven? Uh, yeah, we're gonna put the oven on 350 degrees. That's 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'll put the Celsius down below. Mm -hmm. We did want to do a quick shout out to Arno and his mom mm -hmm. because they made our last recipe and sent us a picture. It was awesome. And uh, we really enjoyed it. So hi Arno and his mom. We mm -hmm. hope you like this one. Yep. So. All right, I started making these brownies because I had to limit my carb intake because of high blood sugars. And um, so I found this recipe, but I, I altered it a bit. Okay. Like, like I do with everything. So just to get the sugar level down. So we're going to start off with, get your food processor. It's very easy to do. We've got one can of rinsed black beans. Is that, so it's rinsed black beans Rin, like yeah. 16 ounces or 12 uh, it's ounces? It's a 15 ounce can. It's a regular size can. Okay. But uh, make sure you rinse them well because black beans have a lot of um, like dirty liquid in them just from what they're sitting in. And so it's one can of black beans. We're gonna do one third cup of cocoa. One third cup of cocoa. Mm -hmm. And we'll put the recipe in the, in the comments. And one third cup- Oh, who's gonna put the recipe in the comments? Because I'm gonna so put them. Editing. <laughs> okay. We're gonna put one third cup of sugar-free maple syrup. It called for honey. You could use honey if you are not trying to limit your sugar content. So one third cup cocoa, one third cup sugar-free syrup. Yep. Or honey. Or honey. And uh, it's the one third cup. It's easy to remember. One third cup of olive oil. Olive oil. Yes. It calls for coconut oil, but coconut oil, um, which I was using for a while, is very high in saturated fat. So I switched to olive oil. Okay. You can't taste that? Nope. Actually, this is vanilla infused olive oil. Didn't know that existed. Surprise! Yep. All right, we're going to use, we need one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. This is just kosher salt. You could use regular table salt if you'd like. And one half teaspoon full of baking powder. Okay. And two eggs. So you're just putting this all in the food processor. All in the food processor. Two large eggs. Yep. All right. All right. We're going to. We're just going to probably pulse it for about maybe thirty seconds, tops. Okay, so until it's combined? <laughs> Completely combined. Okay. So now we've got our, there's no flour or anything, huh? Nope. Just beans? They're gluten free. Oh, okay. We'll definitely put that in the uh, description. 
gluten-free bean brownies. Keto bean, well, keto because there's no sugar in them, so. Oh, okay. Um, there's gonna be sugar in the, in the chocolate chips, but you can use sugar-free for that too. I use silicone baking cups. Okay. So you don't have to, it calls for it to be made in an um, uh, eight by eight pan, but this way I can have individual servings. Right, so you could either put it in an eight by eight pan or put it in 12 cups. Yep. Okay. And you're going to use an ice cream scoop. I always use the ice cream scoop because then it's the same in each. And you don't have to, if you use the silicone cups, you don't have to line them. Nope. So you don't mix the chocolate chips and you put them on top? Put them on top. Mm -hmm. So some questions while you're scooping. How has your life changed since your debut cooking show well, aired? You know, people like chase me down in the grocery store. Right, to get a picture, autograph. Yeah, they want to know my tips for trying to remember the names of cookies. They're probably like, does this meat smell bad to you? <laughs> well, I'm only going to do up to now because I ha what you have to do is now take your blade out and get the rest out with a, a spatula. So okay. Let me show you how I finish it, and then I'll do these two. Okay. Is I just put, I normally, I know it's kind of weird, but I try only to put about eight or nine on the top of each of them. That limits my sugar, but you can use sugar free. Um, when I had to start eating low carb, one of the things I missed the most was chocolate. And I have one of these every night after dinner. And that gets rid of my, uh, my craving. My craving. Okay, okay, okay. And we're going to put these in the oven at 350, and then we'll be back to show you what they look like. And how long are we leaving them in the oven, Kathleen? Uh, 32 minutes. 32. Put your beans in the oven at 350 for 32 minutes. Yep. Good luck. 32 minutes and the brownies are coming out of the oven. I have to tell you, they look better than I thought they would. I make these every 12 days. So you have one every day? I eat one a day. This is what I eat after dinner just to get my chocolate fix in. Now we're going to let them come to room temperature. And then what I do is I put them onto a smaller sheet. I throw them in the freezer and then they pop right out of those containers. I keep them all frozen in the bag, uh, in a, a Ziploc bag, and then I just take one out every day and uh, defrost it in my microwave. I top it with a little bit of, of whipped cream and uh, that's my nightly dessert. They're... <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Attention deficit. <laughs> There is uh, 68 calories in each of these, and there's two grams of carbs. Um, if I put all of the ingredients into my, um, I use my fitness path, mm -hmm. so I could track exactly what I was eating. So um, after they cool, we'll show you uh, what it looks like when we cut inside of it. Thanks, Kathy. You're welcome. All right, go ahead, Mom. Excuse us, I'm putting that in. <laughs> All right, these come out of the containers very easily. Normally what I do is I freeze them and then they pop right out. There we go. Wow. The silicone trays are really nice. All right. Okay. Hold on one second. Oh. Give you a little bit of whipped cream. All right. Okay, we're gonna and swap. We're gonna swap so you can have a try. I just have to like mentally take the bean out of my brain. Yeah, you do. Okay, so it looks it looks kind of gooey inside. It's very good.
Claire. <laughs> Maybe I have to do the try. You, can you? I've never tasted anything like that before. Um, yeah, it definitely has that chocolate flavor. Uh, it has kind of a gritty texture. It doesn't have a gritty texture. <laughs> Definitely something to try. I'm just going to wash my mouth up with some whipped cream. Mm. I really like them. It different strokes for different folks, as they say. Um, they're not. They're not bad. That means they're not good. I didn't say that. You said they were interesting. Different. Different. That's unique. Somebody's really lousy meatloaf. It feels so bad. Okay. <clears throat> I would definitely give this some stars out of 10. Some stars. And um, it has like a whipped, like, like eggy consistency. Does mm -hmm. it? What do you think? I don't think so. I think it has like a, a flourless cake right. consistency. Here, why don't we get a video of you trying it? You didn't make me laugh. Maybe I forgot something. I love it. I've been eating one of these probably for about eight months, every night. You just don't know good food when you taste it. So you never oh, eat. I feel so bad. Listen, I can't believe it. That's because you never eat homemade food, only stuff that's packaged. Oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I didn't taste at all what I thought it would taste like. I think that was my, I was surprised. All right, friends. Well, that was another episode of Kathy's Cookies. I, I thank you so much for supporting my channel and my time with my mom. I guess I'm never gonna cook I'm with so you again. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, I, they're good. They're good. You and should try them. You just wait and see what the next. If you're looking is. for a gluten-free, keto, bean brownie, look no further. <laughs> Bye. Mmm. Oh, mm, I, I, I have to go eat another one real quick. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed that I tried that in front of my mom, and I got my reaction, and it wasn't the best one. Uh, the brownies are, maybe they're not my thing. The, the it, it did not taste at all like I thought it was going to taste. I do think they're a great option, um, but they just don't taste like a traditional brownie. And I, I feel really bad. Um, but you got to see how, uh, how hard it is for an autistic person to, um, hide their true feelings. I'm embarrassed. Uh, the brownies came out great. I hope that you'll try them. Um, and it's just a teachable moment for me. I, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. I hope my mom still wants to do cooking videos with me. I love you guys. Thanks for coming on this life adventure with me. Oh, I have to go. I have to go. Alright, bye. <laughs>